Peace in, y'all. Before I play this video, I need you to take into consideration everything that I've been saying, everything that I have been posting in regards to the Schneider Act, in regards to the migrants, the secret invasion, everything that I have been doing, especially if you've been on my lives. I told y'all what the Schneider Act really was. It was a message. I told y'all what the migrants really represent. It was a message. I told y'all what the Schneider Act really represent. It was a message to what's to come. And this video further goes into it. This is Endgame. Everything that was taken from us is being given back. They have no choice. I'm going to further elaborate on this video in my live, but in the meantime, check it out. Like, share, and follow for more. Let's get it. All right, so you remember when we said, like, the ending isn't for everyone? And people were like, well, what do you mean, script? The movie. The movie part. Like, where we were like, hey, guys, you know, some people are not going to like the ending to this. Uh, some people are not going to get it. Some people are not going to understand it. And... It's just a question of you um, and what you perceive. What's reality to you? Think of all the migrants that are coming in the country. Uh, think of everybody that's coming into the country right now. And, you know, some people say, oh, it's all fake. Just, I I've looked up this operation. Um, I can't find too much on this. So it's called Operation All, Ab all Aboard or All Abroad. I've looked it up five different ways and I can't find information on it. But li listen to what this woman says right here. Um, Toxic Butterfly had it on his page, so I grabbed it so I can get it out to you guys over here on Instagram. I'm going to put it up. You're going to have to watch both videos, guys. Hang on. Let me, let me get in the house. Uno moment. I had to put my hair up for this because what you're going to hear from me... It's not a joke, and this is not fictitious. This is the real deal, and it's really for everyone who is non-citizen, I'm putting quotes on that, to hear what I'm about to say. Obviously, my words are stammering because somebody doesn't want me to tell what's great happened, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Remember when, earlier this month, that that whole uh the alarm went off remember that people thought that it was going to be like this the end of the world it technically is for specific people remember i said this in my video if you did not see it please go back and watch it but in all seriousness what is transpiring now was supposed to happen last year this is a this is a planned situation and it is literally to not put people in fear here's why and I've been wanting to say this for a long time but I had to really bite my tongue because of the simple fact of how sensitive this situation is and how sensitive people are and they can't understand they can't really uh, wrap their brain around what is actually happening and what I'm about to tell you so when it comes down to this situation this is called Operation All Abroad. Listen to me. It's called Operation All Abroad. Do not ask me how I know. I said something about it last year. I hinted it last year. But, yes. Yeah. So this plan, this idea, is to get everyone to safety. To get all the people who are not citizens out of this prison that we call USA and this happens in increments is not going to happen all at once they were planning on doing this all in one shot but it was not going to be beneficial it was not going to be able to help Americans as, at all the plan was going to fall through which is why they prolonged it for another year and they kind of twitched they changed the date for a specific reason operation all abroad starts off with an alarm going to your phone it goes to everyone's phone. People thought it was going to be as seriously loud as noise or what have you. It was going to last and so forth and so on. Now, I said that it was going to last for like 30 minutes on, even after that the alarm was making the sound. It was going to continue to go on for however long they choose to, for it to go on. There's another part of this plan that pretty much provides Americans assistance 
to get out of this country. There's going to be messengers coming to people's homes, giving you the opportunity to pack your belongings, to take it with you, everything, and leave this country. How many messengers you may ask, that's a number I can't put on. I can't even tell you. But the messengers, each and every one of them, have will come to a person's home, come to your job, come to wherever you commute at, and provide you this information of what is going to transpire with the U.S. corporation. These messengers give you the option to leave. They are telling you what is happening and is a option of whether you want to leave the United States or not. Whether you choose to stay or not, that does not matter. What's going to happen afterwards, you should think about. After the messengers has reached enough people out there, pretty much everybody, which will be 4 million people in the USA, after everyone received that message, after everyone has gotten the option of whether they want to leave the United States or not, mind you, you have a choice of where you want to go. So after they give you this message, what happens next is another situation. Reparations is going to be given out. Billions of dollars are going to be given out to everyone. And it's going to be a wealthy amount where you never will have to ask for money again. Because the United States of Corporation or hoarders, they know exactly how much money is in the bank for every single individual in this country. So reparations is going to be given out. Everyone's going to have a, a wealthy amount in their accounts. This money is not to be buying the material things in this country. This money is for you to have for when you are going abroad into your home, your new home. So this money is a transfer. If you choose to spend your money in this country, that is fine, but it will be worthless. I'm telling you this for a reason. So within the month of reparations, everyone has now got the message. Now is in the position of you packing, getting your belongings, ha handling your affairs, getting everything situated. Because the following month is when everyone is being transferred out of this country into a new country. That means there's no debt. You are free from this citizenship that they call your birth certificate, your social security card. None of that will exist for the United States citizens. Okay? So in the month of reparations, as like I said, the money is given to you. You are able to spend it how you want to spend it. This is the time to get your things together. Now, after a month, all the buildings are closed. Everything is closed. That means Walmart is closed. That means Target is closed. That means food markets are closed. That means shopping stores are closed. The mall is closed. The bars are closed. Cookouts are closed. Aquariums, zoos, everything is closed. Gas stations are done. They're gone. The money is to prepare, prepare you. I'm dead serious. So guess what? Now, the following month, once everything is closed, this is the month of departure. This is when everyone is now being put on planes, ships, you name it, whatever type of underground train that they have in store, everybody is put on these transportation uh, vehicles to get everyone out of the country. Now, this whole month is the transition of people getting out of the country. After that, no one's coming back. Not one. No one's coming to save you. There's not going to be a plane coming in. You're not going to be able to catch a flight in the, in the next, the following month afterwards. Everything is coming to a screeching halt for this country. And if you think that they are escaping, they're not. They're stuck here. You know, like the captain goes down with the ship. It's just like that, but with the entire crew. And if you so choose to stay, I'm saying this several times so you can understand. If you so choose to stay, because America, go right ahead. Be alone with the sinking ship. But don't say I didn't warn you. I'm not fearing the transition of leaving the country. I'm letting you know 
what happens if you do not leave? 